Hello dear friends and welcome to a new video. Today we are testing the Creality CR100 3D printer. This printer was designed for the kids and there are four colors available. But before we test it, let's check what's inside the box. First, we find the bag with a few things and the user guide. And a spatula. Next is the printer. At the top side we can see a small display, the start and pause button, a home button and a heat up or cool down button. On one side we see the memory card slot, the USB connector and the main power connector. The print area is 100 by 100 by 80 millimeters. The extruder is the same as the bigger Creality printers. And because it was designed for the kids, they made this printer to look as a toy truck. There is also included a second print plate. white PLA filament, the spool holder, the power cord, and a small remote. The remote has the same three buttons that the printer has. Inside the bag is the user guide, a couple of print tapes, a tool, a needle, a memory card and a reader. Ok, it's time to go home and test this printer. Hey you guys, now that Sandra is back with the CR100, let's learn a bit more about this printer. As she mentioned before, this printer was designed for kids. It comes completely assembled with the exception of the spool holder. Inside the memory card, we can find a more detailed manual and in there, we see that the manufacturer states that this printer should not be used by children younger than 10 years old without supervision. We have a few doubts if this is the ideal age because there are moving parts and a hot nozzle that might cause injuries. And because it has a shape of a truck, it's like they only thought about a boy's perspective and didn't thought about having a girl's version with the shape of a dollhouse or something like that. With the printer, we get a couple of print plates. One of them does not have any print surface on it, so we can use the print tapes that are included or some masking tape with glue. Inside the printer, we find a second print plate, and this one has a print surface on it. 
it comes secure with a couple of clips for transportation. During normal operation, the plates are secured by five strong magnets. And to make it easy to work with, the printer does not require much adjustments or calibrations. The bed does not need to be leveled. The only adjustment needed is the bed to nozzle distance and it's done with a side adjustment screw that triggers the Z end stop. The hot end is installed on the moving platform with springs. If the Z height is incorrectly adjusted and if the nozzle hits the bed, the hot end will raise thanks to the springs and that way will prevent crashes that could damage the print head or print bed. There is only one fan on the hot end and that fan will cool the hot end and also send air to the nozzle for layer cooling. The hot end used in this machine looks like the same as the one used in many other Creality printers. The spool holder is this small tube and it's installed at the back side of the printer. The filament is very easy to load and the extruder is easy to work with. The power supply is also inside the printer. We just need to connect the power cord to power the printer. The display is very small, but it displays all the information. The first thing we need to do is to home the printer and check the nozzle to bed distance. Here it's possible to see a bit of play when the Z moves up and down. In our case, the nozzle was too high, so we need to lower the screw a little bit. For every turn on that screw, we need to home the printer to evaluate the adjustment and repeat as many times as we need until we get the nozzle at the correct height. We can use a 0.1 mm thick piece of paper to check the correct distance. Once that is done, we can heat up the nozzle and push the filament in. The preheat will raise the nozzle temperature up to 180 degrees C. With the STL saved on the memory card, we can start our first print. Here is the infrared sensor for the remote. We need to aim the remote to the front of the printer for it to work. In the memory card, we can find a slicer, detailed manuals, and some models to print. One of them is already in G-code format, and that is our first print. If you have more than one G-code in the memory card, the printer will print the last saved file. You cannot select the file to print. The model is this cute lion. Without a heated bed, we like to use masking tape with glue and this works very well. Next, we slice a few other models and we use the same profile that we have for our Creality Ender 3. We just changed the print area on that profile.
The print quality is much better than what we were expecting. The prints look very, very good and smooth. The only issues we found with this G-Code model is slicer profile related. Inside the card, we found some STL files and we sliced this one with our profile and the result is much better. And because we know that these filaments are known to smooth the surface, we tested again with our filament to compare. With this filament, we can see more detail on the surface of the model, and the printer was able to capture and print the roughness of the model. We couldn't resist to print a tiny vase, and it also looked awesome. Very, very smooth layers. One thing that is missing is a cancel button. If we want to cancel a print, the only way we have is to turn the printer off and on to stop it. On the other hand, the pause button is very handy. We can use that pause to change filament while printing and make prints with different colors. What do you guys think about this small printer? Let us know in the comment section below. And that's it you guys. Hope you liked the video. As always, if you like our work and wish to help, you can with Patreon or PayPal. Keep following here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And we will see you guys next time. Bye!